with the cross in towards Lily Johannes! On her debut, Lily Johannes scores! Yes, that is 16-year-old Lily Johannes scoring a goal for Team USA. And as you can see, she got mobbed by her teammates right after she did it. Teammate Rose Lavelle said later, quote, Oh my God, she's like the most mature 16-year-old I've ever met. Well, Rose, as we've seen, she's talented as well. Johannes is now the third youngest player to score a goal for the U.S. women's national team. Team USA trounced South Korea 3-0. Next up for the Americans, new head coach Emma Hayes and her staff must now select the 18-player roster for the Olympics. And those 18 will play in two games before they leave for France. And don't forget, we are now 51 days out from those summer games. Speaking of the Olympics, former University of Hawaii sailor Daniela Moroz will be there. Moroz will compete in Formula Kite, which is a new sailing discipline debuting in the Paris Games. Athletes are harnessed to a kite and glide across the water on a board. She can reach speeds higher than 40 miles an hour and can jump up to 20 feet into the air. Moroz is a six-time world champ. And look, we don't want to jinx her, but she is the favorite to win gold. I pretty much already like moved to Europe for the summer and I'm just going to be training and racing there until the games. Um, and it's, yeah, it's like all happening right now, but I, I'm, I feel like I'm in a really good place actually mentally. Like I'm really excited about my training and my racing has been really good and I'm like, I think I'm just, I feel so excited about like still, to still be learning and even after 10 years of doing my sport, like I'm still learning every day, I'm still improving every day. Okay, I, I said former Rainbow Ahene, let me backtrack on that. According to NBC, Daniela attends the University of Hawaii but is taking a leave of absence because of the summer games. Rainbow Wahine track and field star Hallie Moore is on her way to Oregon to compete in this week's NCAA championships. The senior is the first UH discus thrower since 2012 to compete in the national title meet. Her family is making the trip from Washington, so she's going to have her own little cheering section there. It's a blessing to be here, and that's the confidence and peace that I have. But I think it just fills me with joy that I have so many loved ones that want to be there to support me and cheer for me. And I think I compete best when I'm competing with joy. Yeah, and we'll be cheering all the way back here in the islands. The tournament begins today in Eugene, Oregon. The Rainbow Wahine basketball team heading to Japan for a nine-day tour. They're going to be visiting Tokyo, Osaka, and Kyoto, playing two exhibition games and hosting a youth clinic. They're also going to fit in some sightseeing. Coach Laura Beeman says this will lay a foundation for next season. Everyone on the team kind of has their little click of girls, right? And, and it's, they're good clicks. They're not mean girl clicks. They're good clicks. But I'm really encouraging them to kind of open their wings up a little bit and spend time with other teammates. And I think that's where the relationships are going to grow, is not staying in my comfort zone, but getting out of my comfort zone and spending time with other teammates. Yeah, th this is the program's first international trip since 2018 when they visited Australia and New Zealand. They're definitely going to have a lot of fun. Grace? All right, thanks, Les.